Lester Frank Ward is a sociologist, botanist, and paleontologist from Julian, Illinois, USA. He was born on June 18, 1841. Ward is described by some as the father of American sociology. He grew up in a relatively poor family, so there was no extra money to send Ward to school for formal education. So he was homeschooled. Therefore, he was self-educated in his youth. After the American Civil War ended, Wood started studying botany and law at George Washington University where he received a Bachelor of Art degree in 1869, Bachelor of Law degree in 1871, and a Master of Art in 1873. While at the same time, he began working for the federal government which is the United States Treasury Department in 1865 until 1872 and in 1882, he was appointed assistant geologist for the U.S. Geological Survey, a post he held for two years. He served the U.S. Geological Survey for the remainder of his career in the federal government, receiving promotion to geologist in 1889 and paleontologist in 1892. He did considerable research in geology and paleobotany, but became intensely interested in sociology as an emerging discipline. His published work in sociology was so well received that without an academic position, he was elected president of the American Sociological Society in 1906 and 1907. The most obvious of word contribution to sociological construction work was undoubtedly his share in fixing the terminology of the new science. He will always stand out among the great figures, a pioneer in the work of mapping out and naming the section of the sociological field. But most important contribution to sociology was his insistence that social law, once identified, can be harnessed and controlled. Lester Frank Ward's first theory is regarding the woman equality. He supported the idea of equality of women as well as the equality of all classes and races in society and even theorized that women were naturally superior to men much to the scorn of mainstream sociologists. He believed in universal education as a means of achieving this equality. In this regard, Ward presaged the rise of feminism and especially the difference feminism of writers such as Herbert Carroll Gillingen, who have developed the claim of female superiority. Ward is now considered a feminist writer by historians such as Anne Taylor Allen. Ward also theorized that poverty could be minimized or eliminated by systematic state intervention. He believed that humankind is not helpless before the impersonal force of the nature and evolution. Instead, through the power of mind, men could take control of the situation and direct the evolution of human society. This theory is known as telesis. Lester Frank was strongly opposed the laissez-faire approach to government and regarded education as the primary mechanism of continued human progress. In short, Wood anticipated the development of modern governmental responsibility, planning, and the expansion of formal education as a funnel for maximum participation by citizens in public affairs. Example of theory, the theory of telesis. Telesis of planned progress describes direct social advancement via education and the scientific method. Example, human-centered and result-oriented is what matters in science. The theory of early female superiority in human society. Example. Feminism is not about bringing men down or establishing female domination. It is about acknowledging the difference in men and women biologically as well as 
psychologically. The theory of universal education as a means of achieving equality. Example, the sociology field should be universal and comprehensive system of education as it could connect people on the base of equal opportunity and cooperation. The importance on why Lester Frankworth need to be known by others. The first point is his contribution in the world of sociology. Considered to be the father of American sociology, he was so instrumental in establishing sociology as an academic discipline in the American higher education. Furthermore, his work on dynamic sociology, outline of sociology, pure sociology and applied sociology books is crucial contribution in evolving sociology as a whole. His insistence that social law once identified can be harnessed and controlled is revolutionary in the world of sociology. For the second point is his dedication and quality traits in pursuing knowledge. Coming from a poor family, Lester could not afford a formal education, but the dedication that he has in pursuing knowledge is remarkable. What was self-educated as he taught himself five languages, mathematics and geology. In addition, at the youth age, what started working while at the same time studying, mostly after work and at night devouring books and develop a craving for knowledge and study. In fact, after serving the military, he continued to pursue his degree. This dedication and quality traits on pursuing knowledge should be set as an example as it could help shape a refined generation of today. For the final main point of why uh, we need to know about Lester Frankwood is his idea of promoting equality of women, social class, and race. The work of his own equality idea is consider, considered pioneering and as seen as revolutionary for his time. Theorized that women were naturally superior to men, much to the scorn of mainstream sociologists, his vision of a just society with equality for women, all social class and race is the base foundation that paved the way for the modern social equity model that is used today. Reflection on Lester Frankworth theory and how it changed the face of sociology. The theory of telesis. Telesis or planned progress was a concept and neologism coined by the American sociologist Lester Frankfurt in the late 19th century to describe direct social advancement via education and scientific method. The term has since been adopted as the name of numerous group, school, and businesses. As we all know, Lester Frankfurt understands sociology as the basic social science. Its primary responsibility is to teach methods to improve society. The emphasis of his idea on social function and planning rather than social structure has made a major impact from ancient times until now. The theory of early female superiority in human society. The theory of gender issue, mainly female equality. Lester Frankfurt always emphasized the use of feminism and the role of women to push for equal rights. How it reflects is, it gives the same opportunity to both men and women and teaches the world that there are no discrimination towards women's power in society. It is seen that nowadays, the impact of this theory truly shines as the society see that men and women is now equal to one another. The theory of universal education as a means of achieving equality. This theory explains the universal access to education is the ability of all people to have equal opportunity in education regardless of their social class, race, gender, sexuality, ethnic background, or physical and mental disabilities. The term is widely used both in college admission for the middle and lower class, and in assistive technology for the disabled nowadays. In order to facilitate the access of education to all, countries have right to education.